First and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bahavakar Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and His Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who we reverence. And double honours to the elder apostles of Great Milton that teaches truth well, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe. This this gonna be like a, a faith booster video. All things work good for them that trust in Yahweh Shai. Point blank period. All things work good for those that trust and believe in Yahweh Yahweh Shai. All things. So even in bad situations, the worst situations, that still works on behalf of the hopeful elect. This is that hope, this is that expectation. These are scriptures that should get brothers going. Okay. Let's go to Romans. No matter what scenario. Romans 8. And we're going to start at 27, Baba Kasha. Actually, I would like to start on 26. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our affirmities. And a lot of the time, affirmities is a good way of keeping us humble in this truth. Affirmities is what? Different type of diseases, sicknesses. That pain in the flesh. That fawn in the flesh. And what keeps his men humble. So Yahweh has a way of what humbling his men. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought. Sometimes you may not know at that particular moment. Which there should always be something to pray about. But the spirit itself make him intercession. And that's through the spirit of what? Yahweh Yahweh Through the angels and the angels send what that message, that prayer. To Yahweh Shai. You could just be thinking about something, sighing, groaning. And that sigh, that, that groan goes what to the angels and Yahabashai, so like it, and the angels send it to Yahabashai. With groanings which cannot be uttered. 1 verse 27. And he that searcheth the hearts, the mind, knoweth what is in the mind of the spirit. See, Yahabashai knows everything because he searches the mind. He searches the heart. That word for heart is love. Because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of the Most High. So Yahweh Shai, he's making uh, intercession for us. Putting in a good word for us. Rasta, see, th this is the faith we've got to have. This is my servant. Look after him. He's doing this, he's doing that. He's striving. And we know that all things, all things, not some, all things work good. Together for good to them that love the most high. So we know all things are going to work out for the hopeful elect. Okay. So knowing this. Because men talk about martial law. Which we talk about. We're supposed to. Guillotines. Esau. But the scripture says all things work good for those that trust and believe in Yahweh Yahweh Shai. That love the most high to them who are called according to his purpose. So the elect, they were called according to Yahweh Shai's purpose. Because they were with Yahweh Shai from the foundations of the world. And they're going to stay and they're going to remain with Yahweh Shai. Okay? Give me just a minute. So now with that, we're going to jump straight to... Just look at the afflictions Job was going through. Look at the afflictions that the prophets, the ancient prophets were going through. Did they give up? No. Afflictions that the prophets, the ancient prophets were going through. Did they give up? No. They kept them fighting. They had faith. Okay. So now let's go to bear me just a minute. I'm gonna go to Psalm thirty seven. This is Psalm thirty seven. And we're gonna go straight to verse twenty three. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord Jehovah Shai. So when something's ordered and it says steps, okay, the way steps is a way, steps is a path. Of a good man, so is there is good men upon this earth that Yahweh has deemed them to be good men are ordered. When you go into that word ordered, it's directed by the Lord Yahweh Yahweh Okay, and He's going to direct His men on that right path. He delighteth in His way. So there's particular men upon this earth Yahweh delights in them. So that means He would be showing them favor. Verse twenty-four. Though He fall. Because you're going to get brothers that fall. You've got some brothers, they have no humility. None. 
Okay, they can't even admit, admit when they fall. Though he fall, and this is the beautiful thing about this truth, though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. Why? Because Yahweh Shai what is for him. He's of the hopeful elect, so he's not going to be utterly cast down. He shall not utterly be cast down completely for the Lord to Yahweh Shai upholdeth him with his hands. So Yahweh Shai is able to uphold his elect. Not you know what? I don't want to say up able to uphold. He will uphold his elect. But the scriptures tell you in 20, Proverbs 24 and 16. Bear me just a minute. 24 and 16. Yep, 24 and 16. A just man falleth seven times. So that's a number of times. And we don't use this scripture as an excuse of why we can't be on point with Yahweh Shai. For a just man falleth seven times and riseth up again. So that man's going to rise up again. Why? Because he's a potential member of the elect. So he's going to rise up. Okay, he's going to keep on going. But the wicked shall fall into mischief. So the wicked, they're, not, they're going to be the ones that are not upholded by Yahweh Shai. Because they were just created to be wicked. And this is speaking of our own nation. The wicked are going to fall into mischief. And this is what you see in the truth. They fall into they just fall into mischief. Because Yahweh Shai was not upholding them. That's why you've got to count this truth a blessing. I have been young, well, in verse 25, well, in Psalms 37 and 25. And now I am old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor he seed begging bread. Okay? So the righteous have never been forsaken. Never, it says, never been forsaken. Nor he seed begging bread. Enough sustenance, and that true bread is what this word. It's a test. It's a test of character. It's a test of how much you really believe. It's easy to say you believe when everything is going good. That's easy. But when all the odds are against you, that's when Yahweh Shai really wants to see what you're made of. And he already knows what you're made of. But he puts his trials rare to see what we're going to do. How are we going to react? Are we going to stay strong? Okay. And bear me just a minute. But you know when you go into that word uphold. It says to, to support, to sustain. To hold. To uphold, to keep or maintain. In unaltered condition. Call to remain our last. Stand up, to stick up for. Whew. And this is the online ephemology. So you have a He's going to stand up. He's going to stick up for. He's hopeful elect. That's heavy. Okay. Maintain, so he's able to maintain his hopeful elect. Why? Because they've always showed a good pattern of work. They've always what had a good mind towards Yahweh Shai. They're the ones that are going to be defended in these last days. You shut off on this. This is Job forty-two and two, and it says, "You know what? Let's start at Job forty-two and." So Eliphaz the Temanite, the belly that the Shahid, the Zophar, the Namaphite went and did according as the Lord commanded them. And the Lord Jehovah Shai accepted Job. And the Lord Jehovah Shai turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends and all they that had been his acquaintance before. And did eat bread with him in the house and they bemoaned him and comforted him all over the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. So that evil was brought upon Job. For Yahweh Shai. And that's what gives us a sound mind, knowing who brings all this. It's Yahweh Shai. Every man also gave him a piece of money and every man one earring of gold. So Lord Yahweh Shai blessed the latter end of Job, the latter end of Job, the ending more than the beginning. So a thing may look a particular way to particular individuals. And you know what? To hell with what this world thinks. Okay? So one thing may look a particular way. Oh, he's lost. He ain't going to get back up. No. All things work good for, for the elect's sake. So Lord blessed the letter end of Job. More than his beginning. For he had 14,000 sheep and 6,000 camels and a 1,000 yoke of oxen. And a 1,000 she asses. He had also seven sons and three daughters. He got his family back and he called the name of the first Jemema. Jem Jem and the name of the second Keziah. And the name of the third Karen Hapak. And all the land were no women found so fair as the daughters of Job. Beautiful. 
and their father gave them inheritance amongst their brethren. So anything Job lost, he got that back. That's high levels of faith. And he never cursed the most high. Remember, that's Satan's whole job, to get you not to believe. So those that don't believe, their whole job is to get you not to believe. Stay faithful. Stay believing. All right? So with this lesson, I hope this was edifying. And until the next time, shout out to the hopeful, Alex. Shout out